What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video, as you guys know, you've been asking me a lot of questions about the AC uh, in these trucks over here, which I, I don't know, you know, if mine's working or working good properly, if it's not working at all, uh, you know, if it's blowing out, blowing cold. To me, it's doing fine. Never had any issues with it, but we got the thermometer order and we got it in today. I'm gonna put it in this thing, see what it's at. But before we start, we got, well, you guys know, I'm sure you remember him, the dent guy. Why? Well, because there's more dents in this Jeep over here. How uh, they occurred? Well, we have really no idea how they occurred, but they, they just, I don't know, they magically occurred. They're like the, uh, it's like a ghost. And he comes at night and he just uh, takes a, I don't know, maybe a hammer, bing, a little dent, and that's it. We're good to go. I'll show you guys on the other side. Uh, these dents are, one of them he got it, no problem. There's one on the panel, I'll show on the other side, uh, down the door jam so he can get this dent out and then the, he plugs it up. But it looks like that's the only way out. The problem was because the glue uh, was not doing the job. So I guess the glue cannot do the job always. I guess it all just depends on uh, you know how bad it is, how deep it is. But this one looked like it was, it was, it was a pretty good one. I don't know how... She got it, but it was, uh, well, you can't really see it no more, but it was there. And then there was another one right here that he got out also uh, that just turned out perfect. Also, guys, for you guys asking me about this tunnel cover right here. So this cover says it will fit a uh, 2010 to a two, uh, or between 2010 to 2018 Ram. Uh, so a lot of you guys DM me about it. I just wasn't sure. I finally found out. So yes, this is up for sale. The rails are there, and I have hardware somewhere uh, in here. Uh, so if you guys are interested, DM me on my Instagram, at DuramaxKing2500. Oh yeah, and real quick, this reminds me while I'm here in the um, Ram over here, for all the people out there, mainly, um, how do I put this in a nice way? You big dummy. Uh, that just watch the video of the five things that I do not like about this. Well, what you guys are forgetting, again, how do I put this in a nice way, um, you big dummies, are there's probably 20 plus more things that I love about this truck. I mean, yes, I knew all these things when I purchased this truck, but did I, you know, was, was that enough to kill the sale? Uh, no, it wasn't. You know, this thing, I mean, I'm loving everything about this truck. There's so much more between the, the power, the torque, the interior, uh, the steering wheels. I, I mean, all the, 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 the wood. I mean, there's just so much, so, so many things that you guys are forgetting. You think that there was only negatives about this truck. I mean, I can go on and on with this truck, with interior, with, I mean, the LED lights on this thing are incredible. There's so many other things about this truck that... Is amazing so I just wanted to uh, make that clear and also how do I put this in a nicer way uh, all the idiots out there um, that say well Eddie uh, it's, it's a truck you know trucks made to get dinged and dent okay uh, usually that comes from the idiots that drive like a I don't know and, and I'm, I'm not gonna say the truck because I don't want to bag on any of the trucks but usually people that buy Limiteds or Denali's or Platinum's are spending uh, this kind of money that you know we're spending on these trucks. I usually want to take care of them. So um, again, you know, in the nicest way um, for the idiots that say, yeah, you know, it's just a scratch or a ding or a dent. Uh, yeah, you sound like a moron, dude. So you know, I mean, you can go destroy your truck. Uh, most likely, you know, reason we being that you can destroy your truck, you're probably not in a limited or you're probably not in a Denali uh, or a, um, a platinum, you know, F-250 or something. Uh, regardless, I don't care what you're in, but uh, you sound like a big dummy. So uh, now that I just got that off my chest, I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings, uh, all of you softies out there. But anyways, like I said, um, I don't even know where we, oh yeah, we're gonna go, uh, first of all, head to Steve Shops, um, because, well, this thing, let me let me show you guys real quick over here too, I, I brought my temp gun, uh, where the heck is it, hold on, and then yeah, stay tuned, the thermometer uh, hasn't came in yet, but when I hit my gun on this thing, uh, it's coming out at, you know, I mean, we'll say the same thing, the 45 to 50 degrees, 
Um, again, you guys are saying, you know, Eddie, well, these aren't really accurate for the air conditionings. Uh, you know what? I agree with you. I think a thermometer should be in there and that will give you an accurate reading. So that's what I'm waiting for. But why we're going to Steve's as well, because look at this thing. So this up here, when I'm hitting the sunroof, trying to do this uh, very carefully, is almost 100 degrees compared to when I hit it, you know, right up here, it is 80 six degrees so there is about a 10 uh, to 12 degree difference between when I hit the sunroof uh, up here how hot it is I mean look at this 98 degrees this uh, sunroof uh, up here is like a hundred degrees right now and the part that where there is no sunroof where it's you know just a roof is insulated so I'm sure when we fix that problem uh, it's going to get a lot better in here and a lot cooler now I mean right now the AC's on it's not you know I don't, I'm not hot I mean it feels good in here it's on I always put it on three so three seems to be my um, I don't know go to fan speed I should say uh, that's you know that's it's comfortable it's not loud it's very quiet uh, you know it's good I'm happy with it and then also stay tuned we're going to get ready to start wiring these auxiliary switches uh, up here or down here to some stuff so we can um, get these things working now also one more thing for you guys uh, on this truck I've noticed this thing has a very big lag when you know hitting the pedal on this thing you know when you want to get up and go uh, this thing kind of takes forever now I don't know for my Dodge guys out there for my Ram guys out there um, is that well you know will that go away when I delete this thing or is this I don't know dead pedal it feels like is that going to stay there uh, when you know even when I delete it is, am I gonna have that dead pedal what is the fix for that because I mean you literally hit the gas and you like waiting waiting and then this thing gets up and decides to go so uh, let me know on that let me know if I can fix it now or if I gotta wait until I delete it all right guys we have arrived here at BBW and you guys see and recognize this truck it is the crippled guy in there that's in the office with a uh, broken hand and stuff uh, he, if you guys want to DM him he'll tell you about his broken situation but he is here uh, getting his uh, getting all tinting his windows doing his windshield now almost done with the windshield and according to Richard here so this is the and if you're wondering why it's got that haze to it uh, because this is the actually legal version I guess I didn't even think it was legal to put any on your windshield 70 okay so apparently him it's a this is the legal version 70% right here that you can put on the windshield of uh, the Accolator's uh, truck over here and uh, he's in there right now on the phone but uh, he's doing I believe he did 20 here on the sides and uh, I think that's about it. Things almost done and, and complete. Hey, what the heck happened to his seat over there? Jeez, what's going on, man? And then uh, remember, if you guys were, I was explaining about you, the cover situation. Well, yeah, look at the uh, Alkalator's cover over here. So I don't know what the heck happened, but he, uh, this thing pretty much was driving, and I mean, got destroyed. So here, here's a perfect example. You know why I'm not a fan of these covers guys is they just do not last this thing is less than a year old and he was driving to Palm Springs here like a boom and the thing I don't know like snapped or flew off I'll let him give you uh, the story on that but that's a, a reason why I do not trust those covers and would not recommend uh, you guys getting you know that cover if you're looking for a long longevity cover and you're keeping it parked and everything outside what happened to your cover everybody wants to know so this video is about tunnel cover I'm talking about my tunnel cover I'm saying how it's one day it's just a, it's not a good cover but I was driving and I look at my, my windshield and I just see like my whole tunnel cover did a wave and then it just took off like this came straight up and I slammed the brakes and it just dropped and slammed down it literally looked like somebody's body slammed it. And you can see it in the railings, all the rivets are just like this. So, I mean, it's that's what sucks about it, guys. He was driving, and it was windy, right? Yeah, it was pretty windy. Yeah, it was pretty windy, but I mean, wind shouldn't affect, you know, those covers. But at the end of the day, it did, and clearly his got destroyed. So now we had to pull a uh, old white girl in here, get her done. Well, because, like I said, this, uh, uh, what do you call it? sunroof is just killing me. 
So we're gonna put the uh, crystalline, crystalline, whatever it's called, on the sunroof. And well, but you guys saw when I was driving here, it was about 98, 95, almost 100 degrees. So we'll see uh, what the temperature difference is. Uh, but actually, you know, let's check real quick that it's been sitting outside. I'm curious to see how hot uh, this part is right here. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be way over 100 degrees. Let's see. So 118 degrees from sitting outside in the sun. And I'm sure the glass is even hotter. And the glass is, wow. 133 degrees, I don't know if you guys will focus on that. So we'll see uh, the difference, uh, how it is when he tints it. All right guys, so our uh, the tint guys, you guys know that there's all our windshields, uh, Richard, he brought, Richard, yeah, the tint guy. Uh, so he brought 70% for uh, Alkylator's truck. He did not have the 50 for him. So we're gonna hold off on the 50% uh, because I wanna do the 50 up top because so it all matches and I know it's 50 so it's not gonna bug me. So uh, wait till next week and I guess that will get done so I cannot get done today. All right guys, well it looks like old uh, Ram over here is about to go through its first uh, thunder and lightning storm. Uh, here in Cali, uh, we, don't, we don't have this. We don't got any of this but uh, you know where I live I gotta go up in those mountains right there so uh, right see right over there so I gotta head through those mountains and where I came from behind me was all nice and sunny so uh, well I guess this is going to be a uh, it's gonna be pretty fun I don't know if you guys can even see the hood of this thing uh, but the water is flying off it looks amazing uh, it's kind of BS now, I didn't plan on driving this thing in the dang rain uh, you guys know I don't really drive my vehicles in the rain. Uh, I should have listened to the truck. The truck pop, popped up over here and told me to hurry and get home and pretty much I'm going to be driving uh, in rain. So, sorry Ram. I did not listen to you. I should have got home quicker than this. This is what I mean guys. When it rains over here in San Diego, traffic is just a nightmare. And I mean it's only 3 o'clock. So, according to the truck, see that red line? Uh, well, it's going to be something ugly, I guess. And apparently there's got to be an accident because I see an ambulance hauling butt up there. And when it goes red, I think that means it's like you're, you can only move or the speed is like from zero to five miles an hour or something like that. Uh, and I think everybody's catching on to it because I think everybody's going to head the back way. I should probably do that. Uh, but... I don't want to try to figure out how to get past a semi truck, so uh, we'll just deal with the traffic. Okay, update. Uh, 40 minutes later, we are 30 minutes later, still here. I am really debating on going right up here, going down in this dirt into the trees, putting in four wheel drive, and going that way because, yeah, that way is going slow, but they're at least moving. Uh, I mean, we're not even, we're not budging over here. So, I just worry about it. I wonder if that's soft. I guess, I don't know, I'll just put in four high uh, and go, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give it about another five minutes. Uh, if that doesn't happen, we're going to, I mean, because we're not even moving. I understand I'm in the slow lane, but the fast lane's not moving either. So, uh just you know i think it'd be easier if i just cut right through there all right guys this is freaking ridiculous so uh, i'm i'm gonna do it oh well truck gets dirty we're gonna try it in two-wheel drive over here so we're gonna cut let's cut right through here there we go whoa whoa a little steep there all right there we go Make sure, hopefully, no cops come and give me shit. All right, all right, it's not bad. Oh, we're still, yeah, we're, we're on two-wheel drive, so it's all good. It's all good. It's not bad, all right, well, so far, so good. Look at that, bada bing, bada boom, we're done. We've cut across, and uh, well, we're good to go. Now, at least we get some moving traffic, and we can get home, hopefully. I think we can make it home from here. All right, guys, old girl has made it back here safely in the garage. Uh, she's, uh, you no, know, she didn't get too, too dirty, but she, uh, she got pretty dirty. I don't know. Look at all that. Look at all that. That's filthy. Now, come on. 
Let me hear you idiots in the comment section. I take mine on my farm and ran through to my blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. No one wants to hear you. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Unfortunately, we didn't get the sunroof done. The thermometer, I think, came in for the AC, uh, but you know, now it's cooking time. Martin's gotta come, Lou's gotta come, we gotta start the barbecue. So I apologize, guys. I will do another AC video for you guys. Uh, soon, maybe maybe I'll go to D-Max Rhinos tomorrow and we'll compare my uh, Ram to his uh, Denali and see what's colder. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.